Right, I'm just going to read some um, stats to you. So, for obesity rates, right? Obviously, when you read these as well, so it's like obesity rates and overweight rates, but we'll All stick right. to obesity. I, and also, these stats I've pulled off Google or random YouTube videos, they may be wrong. <laughs> So I've, I've done no research uh, to see if these are actually correct, right? So I've just wrote down a lot. I'll probably be able to back you up because we, I think maybe about 20 episodes ago, I went on a, a like, in my nutrition stuff I was, I was speaking about before. They were doing an obesity, like, webinar workshop right. and it was, like, actual data. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at, like, the UK data for it and fucking very surprising. Yeah, was it, like, 2021, 20, 2020? Oh yeah, I don't know the years. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Too many numbers. To <laughs> yeah, that's how little we're going. Who knows what year they're from? Um, so, thirty nine point six percent of Americans are obese. Then, thirty one percent in New Zealand are obese. Thirty point five percent in Australia are obese. Thirty point four percent Canada. Oh, I'd throw a wild card in here. 28.4% in the UAE. Oh, fucking hell, what you doing? Out of nowhere. 27.8% <laughs> <laughs> um, in the United Kingdom. Um, don't crack your neck, please. Oh, that freaks that? me out. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> Just thought that. 25.9% in Ireland. So they're a bit lower, but they cheated, you know, the famine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that there. <laughs> They've got the famine card. <laughs> um, and I've just wrote underneath it, Asian countries much lower. <laughs> <laughs> Very lower, though. Yeah. Very low. Matt, like, they were in the... Like, Vietnam was, like, 1.5% or something, and I was like, I don't believe that. I get chased off. Uh, the only reason I escaped a Vietnamese guy chasing me with a machete is because I was a lot lighter than him. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like so, off of that anecdote, I don't believe that stuff. Because how also, like... How are they measuring this? Well, that's why I always uh, see with any studies and any statistic of X percent, you think, how do they measure it? And it probably, if you look at how the UK measures it, it's data from, you know, how we all get that form that we fill out and we all go to our doctors for, I for checkups. Out a form Absolutely, I I, exactly. So that's that's exactly I my point. I don't fill out forms. So, so if <laughs> someone sends me a form, I get spin the bin. <laughs> I see you later. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's all scraped from like, um, the NHS for example and the last time I went to the NHS yes maybe clinically if they're going on the BMI perspective I'll be I'll be classed as overweight or obese but I think would you be near obese you wouldn't be obese would you close to it I think Are close you? to it I think in my in my prep days absolutely <laughs> ah, that's, that's <laughs> the fucking steroids mate <laughs> but no like when you think about it like when they're scraping the data it can be so skewed but for me you just need to go down a high street especially in Scotland i was going into your, your local town and look about, and majority, like Greg's. Aye, majority of people you'll see is, is overweight. Yeah. Is overweight. Oh, I don't think they're massively off. No, no, no. I just want to know how they come up with it, because I haven't been weighed in like a doctor's, in a, I, know. I don't know, in a long, long time. Um, so I was just wondering how they actually come up with it, because that, that would be like the Asian countries. I, didn't, I did see overweight people when I was in Asia. In Thailand and stuff, I'd say they're well lower, but Absolutely. I wouldn't say they were as low as what was. All. And this is just complete observation. And I just feel like the big advantages to maybe skewing that data and stuff. Yeah, have you seen the? Because oh, everyone skewed the COVID data. I was going to say, they? did you see that a third of COVID deaths, one third of COVID deaths, were nothing to do with COVID? I was just listening to something this morning, and I was like, you fucking shitting me? So remember the, all those whistleblowers that were like, no, like the data skewed? They were getting, taking off Twitter, taking off Instagram. This yeah. is like proper conspiracy shit, but I'm all here for it. I love there it. There we go. <laughs> Get your we're, uh, we're all, <laughs> we're left in the BC. We're, we're, we're right into COVID. We're right into COVID. It's but been when, three years. When it, when it gets to that stuff, you need to think like, why? There's always an agenda behind something. And yeah. Obviously that was to push out vaccines and whatever. Like sell the sell the whatever it is they need to sell straight into the vaccine. So that's that straight into <laughs> this podcast is getting delisted. We have left the original topic, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So um, I always I always heard an argument when I was getting into health and fitness, and uh, and I I don't believe it, but it does cross my mind sometimes that if you look at how the world's run, they want people to be more overweight and 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 obese and all that sort of stuff because. They can be con controlled more and that sort of thing. Now I'm not a big believer of this message because I'm not saying that's slower. why. Well, they they they're like more given to whatever 
whatever kind of message has been pushed pushed out, or you have to rely on medication more and all this sort of stuff. So it kind of fills the pockets of of the billionaires. If you look at that, I remember hearing that and going, "That's a load of shite." And then you, I can see a little bit of the argument, but then at the end of the day, we can press two buttons on our phone, and food can be delivered to our door. That wasn't a thing just ten years ago. Or 20 years ago when you look at the comparisons to why obesity is on the rise. I think there's much more that plays into it. And like you said, it starts a very complex subject and it's it's hard to tackle. I think you are on to something. Um, and I think it's more just, I'd, I would say obesity is like an indirect cause of what they are trying to do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like as in, it is about money with ph- pharmaceutical mm. companies, with even just the whatever the top 500 companies are in the world, tech as well. It is all about money. Mm. And, uh, like, rising rates of depression and anxiety and obesity and drug use and alcohol use would probably just be a byproduct of all of those things. 